right, good morning. So today we're gonna to start off by talking about all there is to know about working with co-ops. Um, we love working with co-ops. You know, I, I think working with co-ops is the best experience you can have as a real estate agent. And that is because if you can get through a co-op deal, you can get through anything, right? Um, co-ops, we like to say that they're a pain in the butt, but they get us to know our buyers, and to re work real hard to get through the transaction. So it's a great experience and lots of money can be made in co-ops. Um, it is an art form. Um, so, oops. so first off, we're gonna start with when you get a co-op listing, these are the documents that you should have. You ask the owner for the offering plan. The offering plan is usually in a book that is given to them when they buy the property. Sometimes they have seen them digitally, uh, but they're usually in a big book that's, you know, that they got when they first bought the apartment and that's been passed down from owner to owner. Um, so that book, um, and then of course, any amendments that come with it. So amendments are um, things that have been added to the offering plan book after the fact. And then the financials of the building. So usually the last two years financials um, is required. Uh, occasionally I've been asked for three years, but normally two years is more than enough. So if we are in 2021, you're going to need 2020, 2019. Um, and that's how it goes back like that. Usually they don't come out for a while. Uh, they usually take some time. So that 2020 just ended. Uh, those Financials will probably be out in about June of 2021. Uh, so in this case, you know, if it's the beginning of the year, you would need, let's say 2019, 2018. That's basically how it works. Um, sometimes they will ask for a budget for the following year if this, you know, if it's depending on how far into the year we are. You're going to need a copy of the board application. You need to know what the board application entails. What do they expect? What is going to be um, acts of the buyers that are coming in? Stock certificate and proprietary lease. If the unit is completely owned by the uh, current owner, they will have that on hand. If they have a mortgage, usually their bank has that. So you have to just make sure that they understand this is gonna be needed towards the end, okay? Maintenance bill. Uh, the attorneys will, will ask for this. This is good to have on hand so you know the exact maintenance. And management company name and contact information. You need to know who you will be contacting to get all of these things. If the owner does not have any of these things, both stock and stock and lease, they definitely need to have, um, or their bank has to have it. But if you need to get a copy of the offering plan, you're gonna have to call the management company usually costs a pretty penny, 200, 250, somewhere around that ballpark uh, to get a copy of that. Financials, they'll usually give you for free, no problem. Uh, board application as well, that's usually for free as well. All right, so those are the documentations that you need. So what do you need to know about the unit, right? So you're going to list this property for sale. So you need to know certain things about the co-op unit. You need to know how many shares there are, okay? Um, how many square footage the apartment is? Are there any AC units in there? What type of flooring? What type of appliances? These are all just for listing the unit, but shares and square footage are super, 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 super important. But um, sometimes, for instance, AC units, number one, are they leaving them? Does it cost extra money on the bill every month? Some co-ops work like that. Um, how many bedrooms? How many bathrooms? Is there closet space? Closet space is a big thing in co-ops because it's just an apartment. If you have an abundance or a good amount of closet space, it's great to mention. Um, storage. Storage is always a big one. People ask, is there extra storage in the building? Is Sometimes the storage space will come deeded with the unit. Sometimes there's a waiting list for the storage. Parking is another big one. Is there parking in the building? 
does it come with the unit? Very rarely in a co-op is a parking spot deeded with the unit. Um, usually in condos, it's more like that. Um, but the building may have a garage and there's probably a wait list. And I'm going to be realistic with you. It's going to be a long wait list. So unless they plan on staying in that building for a while, <coughs> sorry, <laughs> unless they plan on staying in that building for a while, um, they may not ever end up getting a parking spot. And last but not least is the condition of the unit. You want to make sure that you know, is this condition, um, is it move-in ready? Um, are they going to have to do some work? Uh, if they do need to do work to a co-op, they have to get building approval. They have to sometimes put in a separate um, application to do so.